Yo, the world is full, full boy. Yo, 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 Please subscribe. Good morning, 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 ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Dave Natch and I speak stocks. Today is July 1st, first day of the month. And in today's video, I have two plays for you. Two plays. But before I go into the plays, let me delve into yesterday's recap of the overall markets. The Dow Jones Industrial Average closed the down 0.82% yesterday to sit at 30,775, the Dow. The NASDAQ, they plunged 1.33%, closing at 11,028, the NAS. Let's jump right into it. Dave's play today is a SP play, in and out, grab and go one and move. Do not overstay your welcome. QNRX, QNRX is up 63% in the pre-markets, currently sitting at 73%, I'm sorry, 73 cents at the recording of this video. The higher day thus far in the pre-markets is 92 cents. There's no news out, we're just riding price action. This one is in the biotech space, headquarters out of Virginia, QNRX. If this retracts below 52 cents, this might be a no-go today. Let's kick the tires. They wear a market cap of 14 million. They have a tiny, teeny float of 5 million, okay? 17% of the float are insiders. 11% of the float are held by institutions and short size, 3% of the float. They have a total cash in hand of 5 million, 5 million, and a total debt of 4.57 million. This is QNRX. Their current ratio is sitting at 1.67. Please sit tight for Dave's bonus play. Do remember, if you wish to open a trading account, check out my Webull link below. You will get some free stocks. Minimum deposit required is a penny. Also, pre-market hours trading starts at 4 a.m. sharp. 4 a.m. sharp with Webull. Webull only the way to go. Pre market hours trading is very risky. It's not for the risk averse. Please hammer like. Please subscribe to the channel. Around here we find supernova movers early. Dave's play is the place to be. Let's jump right into it. Dave's bonus play today is also a SP play in and out, grab and go one and move. FSRD. The stock is up 35% thus far in the pre-market, sitting at 85 cents. Uh, this one closed up 39% yesterday at 62 cents on no news. So be careful at this juncture. Uh, this one has spikeability. For example, on February 18th, the stock went from $3.30 all the way to $8.35. 330 to 8 35 all in one trading day fsrd this one is in the software space headquarters out of illinois let's kick the tires they wear a market cap of 38 million they have 19 million in the float 60 percent of the float are held by insiders 22 percent of the float are held by institution and shorts as one percent of the float this is fsrd they have 22 million in revenues their revenue per share is 0 0.31. <laughs> Their quarterly revenue growth is up 65% year over year. Let me repeat that. Their quarterly revenue growth is up 65% year over year, FSRD. They have a total cash of 57 million and a total debt of 31 million. Their current ratio is sitting at 1.61, FSRD. Don't forget, there's no markets on, uh, the markets will be closed on Monday for the observation of Independence Day, July 4th. That's all I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at WT for my stock alerts. In the meantime, in between time, always protect your neck. Always set a stop loss. Do not invest more than you're willing to lose. And whenever you see some profits, 
take some profits because now you see them, now you don't. Dave Natch, be safe over the weekend. I'm out. Boom, bam, make your next trade your best trade. Welcome back to Dave Newell's channel. Don't forget to hit that like. Please subscribe and share. To listen to their words. One evening he did hear the ox bemoaning to the ass the hardness of his lot. I do labor pulling the plow from morning until night. No matter how hot the day, or how tired my legs, or how the bow doth chafe my neck, still must I work. But you are a creature of leisure. You are trapped with a colorful blanket and do nothing more than carry our master about where he wishes to go. When he goes nowhere, you do rest in the green grass all the day. In spite of his vicious heels, was a great fellow and sympathized with the ox. My good friend, he replied, You do work very hard, and I will help ease your lot. Therefore, will I tell you how you may have a day of rest? In the morning, when the slave comes to fetch you to the plow, lie upon the ground and bellow much that he may say you are sick and cannot work. So the ox took the advice of the ass, and the next morning the slave returned to the farmer and told him the ox was sick and could not pull the plow. Then, said the farmer, hitch the ass to the plow, for the plowing must go on. All that day, the ass, who had only intended to help his friend, found himself compelled to do the ox's task. When night came and he was released from the plow, his heart was bitter, and his legs were weary, and his neck was sore where the bow had chafed it. The farmer lingered in the barnyard to listen. The ox began first. You are my good friend. Because of your wise advice, I have enjoyed a day of rest. And I, retorted the ass, am like many another simple-hearted one who starts to help a friend and ends up by doing his task for him. Hereafter, you draw your own plow, for I did hear the master tell the slave to the butcher, were you sick again? I wish he would, for you are a lazy fellow. Thereafter, they spoke to each other no more. This ended their friendship. Canst thou tell the moral to this tale, Rodan? Tis a good tale, responded Rodan, but I see not the moral. I thought not that you would, but it is there and simple too. Just this. If you desire to help thy friend, do so in a way that will not bring thy friend's burdens upon thyself. I had not thought that. It is a wise word. I wish not to assume the burdens of my sister's husband. But tell me, 
Do not the borrowers repay?